everybody quiet, please. I'm Jimmy Flynn, Robin Assassin TV, ex-boxer, actor. In the Terry Naylor interview part two, we talk about the great Argentinians, Ozzy Ardiles and Ricky Villa. What was it like to play against the great Georgie Best? The legend of Spurs, Glenn Oddle. Sol Campbell, Spurs captain, crossed over North London to play for the Arsenal. Terry, yeah. Terry, is Harry Kane the best centre forward you've ever seen? Absolutely brilliant, Harry Kane. Absolutely brilliant. He does every department in the <coughs> air. He holds the ball up. He, he's, he don't lack pace. He, he goes for goal inside the box. Um, he's not a Martin Chivers. He's not an Alan Gilzine. They are archived that like yeah. great, great players. He can aspire to be that, however. In three or four years' time, it yeah. might be me standing here are sitting here and saying, Harry Kane's in that league. Yes, I That's what he's got to aspire to. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy Greaves, Alan Gildeen, Martin Chiver. I remember them. Get up with them. Yeah, I remember That's them what players, he's got to do. Great players. And he, to all intents and purposes, to me, he can do it. Yeah. But it's what he's got to be aiming for. Pat favorite. Jennings, Pat yeah, Jennings. Pat Jennings, uh, I don't think there'd be a goalkeeper like Pat. You think he was the best? For another decade, without he, a doubt. Was he the, the best? The best. Okay. Him and Gordon Banks was on yeah, a Yeah, very par. clever, yeah. But I'd yeah. say... I'll say Pat because I'm Spurs. <coughs> yeah, sure. But uh, absolutely brilliant goalkeeper. Alan Gilding, unorthodox centre uh, inside. Uh, was he a jock? Yeah. He was a jock, yeah. Dundee. Come Dundee. from Dundee, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But his little flick ons and his he little flicks. He used to flick it like that, didn't he? Everything yeah, with it, him yeah. was little flicks, but he knew then to be in mm. the next position. Yeah. yeah. And him and Greaves, he had such a great partnership. And then Greaves, Jimmy unfortunately went. And then he carried on with Martin Chivers in the same vein. Do you remember the throws when like, Chivers had the long throw and Gilly would flick them? Yeah, oh, Gilly would flick on. Was he Mike the first Kingman? one to do the long throw? So who was the boy? Hutchinson. He used to, he used to run his yeah. legs. He was Chelsea, wasn't he? Yes. He used to throw it and his arms used to come yeah. out. Which was a great asset, wasn't yeah. it? It was like a Ian free Hutchinson. kick. It was. It was like a free kick and bump in the goal, in the goal. Ralph Coach, Sean Keir and John Pratt. Tell us about them, Terry. Um, Johnny Pratt, I've already gotten over Johnny. Uh, fabulous. 90, under, under 10 metre pl uh, uh, play, run till he drops, Johnny. A great favourite uh, with the players. Uh, sh should get more recognition, unfortunately, from much as I love the, the supporters, the crowd. Few of them used to get on Johnny's back. And he, but he always worked his tail off every game, Johnny Agrafia. And you can't play four, 415 games for Spurs and not be a great player. Oh, no, you've got to be. Yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. Real Coates, a lovely no. man, come from Burnley. I got on traffic with him, you know, he used to love me. And he, in the magazine shoot, he said, most difficult opponent, he said, Terry Naylor in training. So when it come down to me doing shoot, they yeah. said, most difficult, I'll put Ralph Coates yeah. in training. He got a, yeah. old pals at. Yeah, of course. But Ralph, yeah. Ralph was lovely. He, he, and a lovely, lovely man. And, this what, and if we had any not nice people at Tottenham, yeah. we let them know it. Yeah, of course. They yeah. had to be nice, yeah. you know. Martin Chivers, he's yeah. come close a couple of times. Like, in the past... Was he a bit Martin's of a snob, was he? A bit yeah, of snob? a little bit. He's yeah, a nice right. man now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mar Martin's changed completely over the last sort of 20 yeah. years. But we, we was going up a Newcastle or something on the train. And we're playing cards. Me, Joe Kinnear, Cyril Knowles and Martin Chivers. Yeah. Knock, knock on the window. We opened it. All right, mate. Oh, hello, Terry. I went, all right, come in. So he's got a plaster cast. Okay. So he went, hey, uh, Martin, he went, can you sign your autograph for me? So Martin Chivers went, who are you? Oh. So he went, oh, I'm only a supporter, Martin. I've just come down, you know, see yeah. the boys. No, he said, who of you that I've got to sign that, your plaster? I yeah. went, That's terrible, yes, yeah. fucking sign it. Yeah, I said, yes, I'll give you a right. I said, sign that. <laughs> and he went, bang, and he signed it. Yeah. Anyway, all right, around. thanks for coming and supporting us, mate. Lovely. Yeah. Without them, we're nothing. Yes, of course. Little things like that. But he learned. I think Martin learned. And he's a, he's a very nice man. Yeah. But he yeah. needed to kick up 
They do something. The yeah, backside. You're, a bit above, you're above this. Yeah. yeah, he, yeah, he yeah. needed to kick up the backside. Steve, do you know about the old players like Gilzine, Chivers and yeah. Peters? Yeah, I'll tell you a story. Right? The story is we used to bunk off school on a, on a Friday knowing at White Hart Lane, some of the boys, they'd be kept round for training round, round the actual pitch. Yeah. But to be honest with you, we, we used to bunk the fair. We had no food. Yes. There's a story about Chivers in there, but I'll leave that for a minute. Can remember be, we was like we go in, like, into the cafe where they would all be having a cup of tea and a bit of grub, and we'd be looking like, and they go, uh, "You right, boy?" And Alan Gilsey said, "Have you eaten?" So we said, "No." And he's uh, like one of our idol. Yeah. No, he said, it "Said the lady behind the thing, lovely. get these boys cheese rolls." Let's love it. Let's love Oh, mate, absolutely. I ain't run out of that pan, Gilly. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Scotsman. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he probably did. He probably the glide. Did, yeah. No. Terry, tell us about the fans back in them days, and also Terry, your relationship with them. Also, I've got to say this to you, Terry. Yeah. Did they say nail it like nailer? Nail you, it like nailer. Did you ever have it, a fucking? I you must, had, had, you must well, have had one. I was, yeah, they did, but that was more the press. <coughs> the nail, press. That's what I said. Nail it like nailer. by nailer. Yeah, that's what I would have. Like, my two names was Meathook. Yeah, and Nutter. And Nutter. Yeah, so Nutter, I was from the market. Yeah. I was Nutter from the Spurs players because yeah. I was different. You're aggressive, yeah. Yeah, not I was aggressive when I had to be physical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's your way. Yeah. But down the meat market, obviously, like you know, yeah, meat up. That's where that comes from. We get invited. I, I get invited with Terry, obviously, uh, over to the Spurs quite regular. It's quite nice down and again. But we also, out of the blue, we got an invite to go over to Charlton. And the truth is, right, there was all these Charlton supporters. Now, Terry hadn't played for uh, Charlton for a long, long time. And I couldn't believe we were roped off a little bit. And there was people saying, ask him, straight away, it's Terry Naylor, it's Terry Naylor. Oh, my, yeah, this wasn't all that long ago. 35 years, I suppose. It, then there was one geezer who's got this most beautiful book, and he's trying to find his page for it. And I couldn't believe it, right? Yeah. Shoot me down. Geezer behind went, for fuck's sake. He said, it's on page 25. <laughs> <laughs> and it was. He was on fucking page 25. But that's what Steve is saying. How would he know? They didn't know each other, the two supporters. No, they didn't know yeah. him, but the geezer was holding Pete Watt. Yeah. He said, for fuck's sake, he's on page 25. He knows where it is. He knew where yeah. that's, This is like unbelievable. Yes, yeah, unbelievable. That's like when we went down to the Dorchester Hotel and we done that. I was having dinner. I can't believe it. I'll, I've got obviously my mucker here, Terry Naylor, and, and I've got the Argentinians next to me. Oh, they're lovely boys. Oh, they yeah. love them. Pucker. I mean, yeah, they were, and he did love the Chaz club, wasn't he? Oh, and Dave. Yeah. He did love the yeah. club. Ch Ch Chaz and Dave was on the on the same table. It was a massive table. <coughs> yeah. And this is I've got to say this. This was funny. Ozzy's talking to me, and he's he, he's saying how much like Terry looked after him, and he turned around to me and he said, "You know something?" He said. Your friend, Telly Naylor, I can't do Argentinian, by yeah. the way. You know but, what? Yeah. Do, do Scottish. <laughs> or Debbie Dunn. Debbie Dunn. Debbie Dunn. Debbie Dunn. Debbie Dunn. So he goes, your friend, Terry Naylor, he said, he, he's a bad yeah. man. He said, when I first come to Tottenham, he said, he teach me English. I thought, oh, my God. He's gone, yeah, my name is Osvaldo Ardilis. I play for Tottenham and I'm a wanker. <laughs> Yeah, he said. <laughs> and then Ricky piped up and he turned around, yes, and you know you play cards? I went, yeah, go on. Uh, I think the word is cheat. <laughs> cheat. Oh, yeah. their money every week, man. <laughs> Did you really? Every <laughs> week we get their money. Ozzy Ardiles and Ricky Villa, Terry, you played with them? Yes, dear. They're great people. Great people. And Ozzy loved the club, didn't he? Two lovely, lovely people and big personalities. You know, I've played with Martin Peters for six years. Yeah. I never knew the man. Really? You know, a great player. Brilliant He kept football. himself to himself, yeah? Never knew him. I don't know. He just, he, you know, to me, some people ain't got personality. Not knocking him as a player, he was fantastic. Yeah. But just, I never knew him, that's what I'm saying. He but never bonded with him. Them you. two, yeah. I got on absolutely brilliant with. Yeah. Lovely, but love a giggle. They love a laugh. And know. didn't he become the manager? Yeah, he yeah. did. Was he? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Unfortunately, you yeah. know, it wasn't Ozzy's full take. No, he wasn't that great, but he, no. he tried. He, he put yeah, he, let, he just worked on attacking football, so he was letting in goals, and unfortunately, that was the downfall. Did he go back to Argentina or did he stay here? No, he didn't, he didn't go back. I think he had a couple of jobs. At, uh, was he at Newcastle? Yeah, uh, uh, and, and then he West Brom. West West Brom. Right, and then he turned West it Brom. in a little bit. Okay. But as far as ability goes, he was very two good. very good players. Yeah. Not in the same league as Glenn Oddle. Oh, Glenn, yeah? Glenn. Oh, and I mean oh, it. Glenn I mean it. Absolutely. That's how good he was, Oddle. They was terrific players, but not in the same league did as Glenn, Glenn Oddle. Was Glenn, did he call controversial, St. Glenn? 
about his religion and things like well, that. Well, listen, he, he went like David Icke. Like, he started talking about um, a fella, wasn't it? Why, why are people in wheelchairs? Because they must have done something no, you in can't their past say, life. You can't he say. can't comment on that, no, Jim. No, you can't no. say that. It's disgraceful, Yeah, mate. of course it is. Yeah. So, yeah, he is thick. Like that David Icke, he went a bit potty. Yeah. Glenn went a bit potty. Is, did they it? become Christians? What was that? It? Yes, but he's come back now, Glenn. Yeah. And be, even though, I know he's, he's become a better person. Up, yeah, good luck. Yeah. But I'm going back like, 10 years ago yeah. after, he realised, he realised, he, he, he don't talk about anything that you don't know about. Yeah, no, yeah. exactly. Terry, tell us who's the best opponent you played against. Well, you just mentioned his name in that little... Georgie uh, Best? Yes, Georgie well, I, Best. Well, I, I'm not a footballing man, but when I watched him, I thought, this man's incredible. Wizard. Because I Wizard. watched him on the pitch, and he's, he's playing on a pitch that looks like a ploughed field to me. Yeah. And I remember when he ran... Do you remember that guy he got and he flicked over one's head, then he flicked over the other one's head, yeah. and he just, no power, and he flicked over the goalie's head. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah, the problem know. with George, where he was really unlucky, yeah. if he'd have been English, oh he'd have been God. ideal for us. He'd Fantastic. have been ideal for England. We'd have been a much, much better team. Of course, yeah. He was, he was uh, uh, take Pelly out of the equation, uh, the, the best I've ever seen, George Best, and played against him twice. Yeah. Absolutely, give the man so much respect. What was it actually like playing against George? Right, I had a philosophy. Um, I used to just hold George up, like as he's coming with the ball, show him the line, the touch line, and just hold him up there because I was quite quick and I know yeah. with the trickery he can be nutmeg. He could do anything, but you watch that ball and you hold him up. And what George was then knocking it back to the full back. They was passing up. Now ain't my problem no yeah, more. Yeah, got you. Although I'm, as long as I'm watching him, because yeah. I'm not going to bother about covering in this particular game because I've got one of the greatest players I've ever seen. Yeah. So I'm going to make sure as soon as he gets the ball, I'm on him. Yep. Yeah. And like, and as it happens, I, I, my philosophy was right. He just passed the ball on them occasion, and that was it. And if he, he, he had scored a goal or something, he would have switched over a different wing or <coughs> gone inside. Did you ever speak to him, Terry? Yeah, he's, he's a what lovely, was he like? Lovely uh, fella. He was just an ordinary guy, wasn't he? Ordinary guy. From Ireland, just yeah. an ordinary, simple guy. Yeah, but if you said to him, pick a well, a well team, George, he'd say, well, I'll be the first. <laughs> so yeah. he, 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 no, that's he, how he, great players, that's great yeah. people, but great he, athletes. Yes. That's great athletes. And he didn't yeah. hang about. And he was the he was yeah. the best. His name was yeah. best. He was, he the, was best. the best. Yeah. Without a doubt. I just think that your fondest moments in the game. Um. Well, the fondest moments are the moments really where we was banging trouble. You know, um, we played Leeds. I think it was the last game of the season. We had who get, was playing for Leeds then? They, well, but Bobby Bremner. If I said Lauren. to you it was Sprake, they were Reedy, a good team. They were Terry good team. Cooper, yep. Bremner, double full team they had out, they're full team. Yeah. Yeah. But we have one advantage. On the Friday they was playing the European Cup final. Uh-huh. So thankfully they didn't put come their full out. team out, no? Oh, no, no they played they, the full they did. team. But we went 3-0 up in the game. Can I tell you? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the point. Do you remember well, it? Well, I remember it's funny because I was actually in the crowd and I'm seeing this kind of also a little bit of a wizard, a boy called Alpy Con. And Alpy Con's gone round about three players and then sat on the ball. Now I'm looking, I thought that is, listen, as it's a ball, that's taking a miss. But the weird thing is, I later on when I met Terry, he told me the full story and that's about yeah. him after that. Well, go on, you tell me a bit about what Lorimer said, or no, Bremner said. Well, once he sat on the ball, Elfie, Bremner went, hey Terry, get hold of that thing you're into. He said, listen, we're going to start playing. And I thought, we're free and well, I ain't got to say yeah. nothing. I yeah. went, all right. All of a sudden, Lauren has hit this ball Whoosh. 35 yards right in the root of it. I went, Elfie, turn it in. Turn it in. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it just shows you, I went yeah. like a big child the way I went. Yeah, of course, went, yeah. From yeah. being up there, you can't do we're free and all up to that goal. <coughs> and I thought, Hang no way. Right. They could come back. No, yeah, they could, yeah. Of course, Lauren but, had a shot on him, didn't he, Lauren? Yeah. We beat him 4-2 at the end of lovely, the night. Lovely, but lovely. We had to get a point to stay, to stay yeah, yeah. up. But the next greatest thing, probably the, or the one greatest thing, even in front of that, was getting out of that second division. Yeah. Because there's no way Spurs are going to be in that second division. You've got to come out of there as quick as you can. And touch what we did it. Yeah, Terry, you told us about Bill, who's fantastic. Uh, tell us about the worst manager you ever played under. In I wouldn't say the worst, in an or not the best. Unorthodox way, probably yeah. Terry Nil. Um, Terry, Terry he'd make promises to players and bonuses and things and not but fulfilled. Wasn't Terry Neal a footballer? He was at Arsenal. Yeah. I, know, I know Terry Neal. I remember Terry Neal. Yeah. He, we finished fifth in the league, I think, and got in the semi-final of the League Cup. I remember but, it. I remember him coming. Yeah. Um, I don't think 
he did enough. He didn't really do, do enough. Do you think he never believed in you, or did he have the, the Arsenal trait in him still? Well, obviously, he went back to Arsenal eventually, so and, he must have had it. And so he had he the trait in it. Yeah, the in it. Mommy. Not only did he go back to Arsenal, he took a player back with him called Willie Young. Yeah. Do you remember that? Well, I was glad to get rid of yeah, him. Yeah, me and all. I had a paper, that one. Yeah, yeah. Willie Young, yeah. yeah. He actually said, yeah. put Keith Burkenshaw up for the job. Lovely. And he got Ozzy and Ricky, he, he said to Keith Burkenshaw, get hold of them two. And they got him. Yeah, Keith Burkenshaw. that was lovely. But uh, Terry Neal, yeah, I uh, don't think he'd done enough. Um, keep keep Burton sure. Honest, honest, honest man. Yeah. Honest man. Yeah. Gives yeah. gives hundred percent to the job. One is a couple um, of bits, I didn't yeah. always get on eye to eye with him, to be fair. But other times we did, and we're good mates now out of football. But tell me, Terry, my, my training days because I went to West Ham and uh, Rob Jenkins used to give me physiotherapy for my arms, oh, well, my shoulders. Yeah. I, I met uh, Billy Bonds. I met them all yeah. down there, yeah, the boys. And I remember I went down there to be um, to some physio, and I've been out. I've been at six o'clock, I've been running Greenwich, yeah? So I've done Greenwich, I've gone down there for my treatment before I go to the gym to box. I see Billy and, and another couple of them, and they said, we can't run round the pitch, it's raining. And I just thought, <laughs> raining? What difference does that make? Was it <laughs> fucking raining? So tell me about your training regime. Uh, most times, if, if we played on a Saturday uh, and you got a result, yeah. you know, then you get Monday off and come in Tuesday. So Unless you, you had a midweek game. Yeah. Did you drink on a Friday to play on a Saturday? We never really drank there, Jim. When, when I say didn't drink, oh, was that half lagers. I used yeah. to drink half lagers. That's all any of us drank. <coughs> there was very few, other than Greasy, we found out later. Yeah, isn't that There right? weren't yeah. any big drinkers there. So drink was never come to it in games at all. Did so, you train over anal and do the running over anal? And then, I remember, because I read this book on Tottenham, uh, Hunter Davis. He wrote a book and he said there was a couple of players. I hated the running over over anal. I run anal right. many times. And yeah. what they used to do, there used yeah. to be a, a milk thing go through yeah. milk cart, milk yeah. cart, and they jump on that to got to. That's how they got to back to where they had to be rather than doing the running. Well, I think Roger Morgan was one of them. Well, it could well have been Terry. Who was the captain back in them days? Uh, yeah, we're talking what now? It's probably 74, 70. Alan Mallory was captain. And he was strong man, wasn't he? Strong. Very strong. Loved Come him. from Fulham. Excellent player. Loved yeah. him. Very nice man. Good captain. Yeah. Good captain. How about Martin Peters? That just reminded me. When, you, when you've just mentioned Alan, the Mallards we used to call him, yeah. Martin Peters, uh, was it Gordon Ramsay? He said that this player was 10 years in front of everyone else. I don't know where he got, but he, he had this run. Elf Ramsay. Elf Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay. Ramsay. Elf Ramsay. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. It must be T9. Yeah, Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Elf Ramsay. And he turned around. Yeah, Gordon. And, and he would. He would actually get into positions. Yeah. Like he, got, he called him the ghost. He was the ghost. In a, in a particular game, you've got to think, I haven't been in the side th that long. I've probably been in just maturing in the yeah. side over that three year period I was telling you about Jim I come yes, in. Yeah. anyway so the other team had a corner we're winning one nil, but the other team's got a corner first half so the ball's come over and Martin Peters has let, let his man run off him with a free header hit the top of the bar and went over right. so I said um, get hold of your man you see oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah because yeah. as I'm saying as I said before when you swear, yeah, people yeah. listen. Yeah, of you course. You don't say it, they just keep their nut down. So yeah. they, when they look at you, you've got eye to eye contact. So you contact. actually call Martin Peters a cunt, yes. basically. Yeah, yes. go on. So, anyway. He's, he reacted straight away, didn't he? No, we, the whistle went for half time. It just walked down into the dressing room. Bill Nicholson, anyone got anything to say? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Martin Peters, yeah. So uh, <laughs> Martin Peters said, yeah, I have, Bill. He said, what fucking right has he got to call me a cunt? <laughs> I said, well, that's what you are, and yeah, I didn't, I didn't like no, stomach it. Punches. I want to stomach it. Yeah, no. So Bill Nicholson went, wait, wait, wait. He went, Terry's right, Martin. You lost your man. You shouldn't have lost him. You got a free header. Could have put him, put him level. It's all important, that. Yeah, of course. And they, and so then uh, Anna Mallory said, yeah, Bill. But what we've got to do, boys? We got. So he went, that's right. Yeah. He said, go on then, boys. Out you go. And as we went out, Bill Nick got hold of me. He went, Layla, come here. So what's up, what's up, Bill? He went, get hold of that fucking Alan Mullery and get him playing. <laughs> oh, no, I went, hold up, we just you said a me in talk. You ain't said nothing to him. But he told me to yeah, do it on the pitch. Yeah, I cool. love it. Which, which is, I love it. look, we're all together. Yeah, I love course. winning yeah. like we all do. Yeah, yeah. And I want to be nice with everyone, but you've got to go out and no, give 100%. Listen, you're a if you give nothing else. In a family, you're all round one, yeah. 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 You're a family, you're all round one, Yes. 
Because you've got yeah. to play the best that you've got to play. That's it. Yeah, oh. yeah, Terry, just bring it up to date. Give me some views on the VAR today. Yeah. Um, none of us, and I'll speak, I think, from all ex-players, want to see the VAR in a game. Let's have the game. Go back to the referee. Refs it. The only thing that we need it for, and, and even there they're doing it wrong, to be honest with you, is the offside. Because... Oh. Tottenham had a game, and their man had his leg a foot short of the line where, where the opposition, where the Leicester's players was, but he had his hand over the line, so they give offside. Can you score no. with your hand? Can no. you score no, with your hand? No, it's crazy. Well, so, and not only that, Jim, this is the scenario yeah. why you can't have it, and yeah. I'll explain in one course. to anyone who wants yeah. to listen. Right, your team are attacking. One of your, Stevie gets brought down in the box. Yeah. You all appeal for a penalty. Referee, have a look at that. VAR, have a look at that. Play's going on. We score up the other end. Yeah. As the ball comes back to kick off, referee goes, hold on, that this it's a penalty up here. Yeah. You can't do that. You no, can't do no. that. You can't do no, that. No, you're totally because right. Because when you say play on, yes. you've scored. You yeah, can't then go back to something that happened, no. and that's the problem. You and can't it, have and it. And there's too. another one as well, because when, when a player scores a goal and he wants to celebrate, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he has to think, hang on a minute, but I've got to watch first because they might be going to look at VAR. Yeah, the, yeah. And for the crowd, because they don't Everyone's tell us... Everyone's on edge, yeah. Yeah, the crowd is thinking, has he scored? <coughs> it's he in scored? tennis now and everything. Oh, so oh, do you think it's going to go or not? No. It's I here think, to stay, I think, it? No, I think it's got to go. It don't yeah. work in football. It no. works in, it works rugby. in rugby. Yeah. It works in cricket because yeah. you see that ball come back yeah. in, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. doesn't work in football. Has it? Yeah. <laughs> not out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Terry, he was the chairman when you played, and there's uh, also been a strong Jewish connection. It, it would have been Sydney well then, and, and a couple of, two or, two, or two, two or three out of the board of six would have been Jewish fellas. Richardson as well. Uh, the Richardson, yeah. Mr Cox was there. Yeah. Um, and they was there for years. Then along come another Jewish sort of, uh, Irving Scholar. Scholar, yeah. Who put his money in the club? And funnily enough, with Irving Scholar, now this was my testimony, I suppose, and he was the chairman. And he got up and he said, which I didn't realise at the time, I thought, what are you talking about? That ain't much of an accolade. He said, Terry Naylor has been a great player for Spurs, and I'd like him to know here and now, I, he's in my top 40 Spurs players. Fantastic. No, but I went. Top ten. Me head. Top ten. No, no, but I'm not Jim. But you got to think. There's about five thousand players played the top oh, of me in that time. Is. Yeah, yeah. And he's putting me in the top forty. That was a lovely accolade. Right, yeah, but yeah, I didn't yeah, get yeah. it at the time. With the other supporters of, diff of the other London clubs saying Spurs are a Jewish club, you know, we we took them under our wing. All the Jewish people and said, listen. You are us, we are you, but yeah. we all support Tottenham. That's so right. we go, you know, it's because we're behind you, 100%. Yeah, course, yeah. And that's, that's where no, it all comes that, about. No, I understand that, Terry. Yeah. And you're quite right to say that. It's, it's a brilliant thing to say. <laughs> yeah, Terry, tell us about the, the, uh, the derby matches with the uh, Arsenal. How did you psych yourself up? Or was it naturally in your programme? In your programme, yeah. yeah. In your programme. Yeah. 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 Program. Uh, uh, we both sort of play midweek sometimes. Yeah. We meet up in the same clubs and we talk as people. And like, you know, we wasn't enemies by any by any stretch of the imagination. But when it comes to the, the Saturday, the game, then you 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 hate the opposition, no matter who they are. You switch off. And even more so if it's a London club like yeah. Arsenal, you've got to win it because you know it means so much to your supporters. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Didn't Bill Nick once say that to you? He turned around and said, okay, what you do the rest of the season, you've got to win this, it's against them. So yeah, something you've got like to win, that, you've got to win these matches. Well, was there a lot of Irish players playing for we had, listen, you had a lot of Irish players, you had a lot of Scots players. I mean, oh, was it because of the area they lived in? No, I just think they're not producing our Scots players, are they? Like, no. And well, Irish players it, are very far and few. Terry, is it because of the foreign import? Is that why we ain't getting any youths coming through? I think it is. Yeah. I think it is. <coughs> That's youths the bottom through, line, yeah. without yeah. a doubt. Um, if you look at Scotland, they're in a terrible mess up there, yeah. aren't they? Their football team. I don't know. Do well, it's shocking, Jim. It's shocking. The standard of Scottish football. And it was even worse. It's, it's when it, Dennis was, Law was a great player, wasn't he? Oh, lovely. Yeah, but you had Law, you had Jim Baxter, you yeah, had yeah. Uh, Davy Wilson, Willie Anderson. Um, great players. Yeah, all great players. Even like the Celtic team that won the European Cup in yeah, 1967. The Celtic team, yeah. But what, we used to nick them uh, players. Is it we because... Yeah. Archie Ball, well, Johnny, White, Johnny White, Johnny Ward, Gilly, Gilly. They all come from there, didn't they? Yeah, Bill Brown. Yeah. They're all yeah. Scotch. Yeah. Terry, tell us about when you played against Derby and you got beat 8-2. Yeah, a tragic, tragic defeat. Um, obviously, 8-2 is a belting, no matter how you look at it. 
Uh, the interesting thing about that game was the team talk on the Monday after. Yeah. And Keith Bergenshaw obviously called him. He wants some answers, what happened. So he spoke to Barry Dane. He said, uh, I think you might have done a bit better with a couple of goals. He went, yeah, he said, but, you know, not, you know, to me, they was getting too much of the target <coughs> to look at. They weren't shut down quick enough. They say, Terry, what do you think about him? Well, look, I'm marking Leighton, Leighton James. I said he, he's a very good winger. Well, I'm, not, I'm, I'm more concerned on him doing nothing than I am covering these boys. Yeah. Because, uh, and he went, yeah, okay then. What about you, the left back anyway? We're going on. So he said, what about you, John, the Johnny Pratt? He went, well, obviously, this fucking lot's had blinders. It's all down to me. <laughs> <laughs> but who was the manager of Derby at the time, Terry? Oh, I think it was Dave McCoy. Dave McCoy, wasn't it? Dave, yeah. Dave was You know, the plate room, yeah. Charlie George was there. Charlie yeah. George, yeah. yeah. Really. Bruce Riott. Yeah. And you know a little story? I worked for the Evening News at the time, yeah? And Charlie George was the darling of ours. Oh, they loved him, didn't they? They loved yeah. him, right? Yeah, he was. So Victor Routon, right, turned around here of the, the reporter who wrote, wrote the football for the Evening News, he went, pick the phone up. And he, Victor Routon, saying, don't leave. You can't, you can't join Tottenham. You can't. You're the darling arsehole. Anyway, where it went wrong, it was, would have been Terry Neal would have been the manager. There was, uh, he wanted to do a big thing, a big story, and, and Dave Mackay come in and nicked him. Yeah. At lastminute.com. Dave Mackay, yeah. Yeah, Dave, he went and played with him, but he was going to be Spurs. He, yeah. he was going to be a Tottenham player, but he wanted to make a big press thing, yeah. and it, that was it. Yeah, so we could have, like they done with us with that other arsehole, what's his, his name? Uh, Sol Campbell. Yeah, who done the wrong one on us? He was the captain. He was there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, we could have done a nice one. Wasn't he a good player, Sol? Soul, soul? Great, great player, but, great player. but he was a traitor. Traitor, traitor mate. Yeah. You know why he was a traitor? No, he went to Arsenal. He, he could have gone a... somewhere yeah. else. Yeah. You, you don't and do that, what Jim. Made yeah, it I didn't know that. He was a great player. So. What made it worse? Yeah, he had a great He was time. our captain. Yeah. It, yeah, <coughs> that's what, it'd be and he know. went to Arsenal. I he think you just got one. it. When you said was, you was. got it in one. Mate. Yeah, was, he's not yeah. respected at all by any time. So, so they don't like him at all. No, no mate. He's, he's a turncoat. But he will be forgiven. Yeah, but I when we watched him, he was a very good player. Oh, he was a very good, good player. player. That's good part player. of the reason. But yeah. the biggest thing was, yeah. I'm being funny, Jim. He was our captain. Yeah. And to do that was, I was on holiday. I couldn't believe it. I was. I was made him do that. I don't know. Money, money, maybe. Money, it's money. Yeah. Of course it's man. The youngsters, did they get a chance? Yes, by, by and large they did. I think, um, the, 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 sorry. What was the youngest player that came through, say, would he be 17, 18, 19, 20? Um, well, just for our play, Stevie Perryman came through the ranks at 17. So he came through? Yeah, fantastic. And he played? Yes. You looked, after, you looked after a few up there, didn't you? I mean, funny, uh, Gary Brook, he yeah, was a young boy, yeah, wasn't he? He was yeah. a baby. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I know you always looked after people like Pratty when they come, were coming yeah, through. But no, but the thing is, it's good to get a bit of youth in the team. Yeah. But you can't have too much. No. Yeah, because they because don't know. Experience. They need a bit experience. of help. Experience. They need, yeah. And if you've got experience and and and, and youth, yeah. the youth will learn through through the experience, yeah, course, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Now, if you put three in at once, That's now you've sure. got a problem. Mm -hmm. Now you've got a problem because <coughs> you just put one in. Well, yeah. yeah. Just one at a time, one I at think. Time. Just yeah. bleed them that way, and like, I think they'll be better players because you can ruin them as well if you, yeah, of course you, you can. stick them all in. They get a belt, and they don't ain't gonna forget it. Yeah, yeah, Terry. When you was playing, and the youngster come through, did you think, wow, this is gonna be a great player? Yeah, definitely. Who was um, that, Terry? Well, I was out having a fitness test, and so they got another uh, like one of the apprentice kids out to knock some balls up to me. I'm controlling them, knocking them back to him. Yeah. So, but it's a bit damp, so it's it's gushing off. As it's the grass, it's rushing away the ball type of thing. Yeah. Anyway, also I'm meeting him. It's coming off the turf, and this fella's bringing them down here. This kid bringing them down here. Bring. Them. I thought, kid, okay, hell, he's got a little bit of skill. I've seen yeah. him before. Like yeah. that. Anyway, this one on for about sort of five minutes. Bang, 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 and that was it. Cheers, son. Right, bang. Uh, Glen Oddle. Oh. Glen Oddle. Oh, yeah. Glen Oddle. So you knew he was a talent, didn't you? Oh, yeah, well, no one can do that, what he was doing. I thought, this kid's got some class, fucking hell. Yeah. And all of a sudden, a year and a half later... Well, where did him. Glenn come from? North London? Yeah. Islington or... No, no, I think he come more Edmonton area. Edmonton. Yeah, Edmonton. I think that sort of yeah, area. Okay. Good boy. I remember his first game. Yeah. Absolutely. We, as, as supporters, we, he came on as a substitute against Norwich City, I think it was. 
and all of a sudden, like everyone's going, but like, like you, yeah. As fans, we were like, where's he been? What yeah. was this? Yeah. He was that good. He was. He, he really was. He was a great. Did you win one. any trophies with us? With the Tottenham Hotspur? Yeah, I, I, you know, one of the best win trophies the I won, Jim. No, yeah. didn't win the league with Spurs. But one of the best trophies I ever won was the Daily Express Five Aside. Oh, now, okay. Let me tell you why. We went out there to Wembley. Bill Nix sorted the team out, and we went to Wembley, right? And we beat Ipswich in the final. Okay. But we was all homegrown players. Lovely. And all under under twenty. Lovely. All like under yeah, twenty. Like your own. Yeah. But all our own. And we went through and we beat them all. We beat yeah, all the brilliant. stars. They had all their top team out. The other yeah, people. Okay. And we done them. Lovely. So that that alone was a fantastic trophy. Yeah. yeah. No, that's brilliant. Great stories. We love it with Terry Naylor and Steve. The fanatical Spurs fan, we're going for another break. Oh, we can't have it all. Just you and I are here. Please forgive me all of my and let me try. 